So, eight semi-finals have been uh, completed. Two more semi-finals remain. And they're the two men's singles, and the first features the Olympic champion, Victor Axelsson, uh, looking to reach the final of the Denmark Open for the very first time. He's up against the unseeded Lee Czech Yu in his first Super 1000 tournament semi-final. After that, we will have the two-time former champion and two-time reigning world champion, Kenta Momota, against Tommy Subiato, who himself has been in the final here at the Denmark Open. Well, when we look in the, at the draw, by quarter-final stage, we only had five seeds and uh, seven different nationalities. Two players from Indonesia, as you can see, uh, but by semi-final, only two seeds. The top two seeds, Momota and Axelsen. Four semi-finalists from four different nations, and that's always lovely to see in any discipline, in any tournament. Here, the unseeded Lee Czech Yu. What a moment for him. His first ever Super 1000 tournament semi-final. Well, today he becomes only the third player from his country to contest a semi-final at the Denmark Open in the men's singles discipline. And here comes the Olympic champion. Fans around me are on their feet, a standing ovation as he comes into the arena. The former world champion, the former world number one, the reigning Olympic champion. But his home event, he has never contested the final. How desperately he would love to get through this. And when you consider that he's reached nine consecutive finals in nine individual tournaments played, he's looking for a tenth consecutive final. Well, that would be absolutely extraordinary. In many people's opinion, the best player in the world at the moment with, with the world rankings not completely unfrozen. He's stuck at number two. Now, that might surprise uh, people. This is only the second meeting, and the only previous time they met was in Hong Kong at quarter-final stage two years ago. Lee Chuck Yu won on that occasion two straight games, 21-14, 21-19, in 38 minutes. And Lee Chuck Yu went on to win his only World Tour title. And what a place to do it in your home events for the Hong Kong player. For Victor Axelsen, he's been in 13 World Tour Tournament Finals, winning eight of them. Eight tournaments this year, eight finals. So this man has got his work cut out, hasn't he? The 25-year-old from Hong Kong. One place down from his career high of 16 on the world ranking, making his third appearance here prior to this year. He'd never got further than the first round. Now, he has been pushed the full distance against his teammate, first of all, in the second round, the number eight seed, Ankar Long, and then in the quarterfinal against the 2018 beaten finalist Chu Tian Chen of Chinese Taipei. Both those matches, as you saw, he dropped the second game. So to Victor Axelsson, who's 27 years of age, very tall athlete, as you can see, 194, that's six foot four, born here in Orbanza. This is his third semi-final at the Denmark Open in his 11th appearance at his home tournament. Now, in the first two rounds, he played against the winner and the runner-up of the Dutch Open last week, both of them training partners of his in his base in Dubai. Quarter-final was a repeat of the All England final earlier this year, and the Dane got revenge over Lee Sinjar, winning 21-19, 21-19. Ready to play. Uh, so, 
The tall Dane had been 15-18 and 17-19 down in the second game against the Malaysian. of Norway and Upadei there's his fiance and baby daughter or toddler I should say now Vega their daughter and little Vega looks awfully animated she's just turned one And one, I think, eight days ago. A little Vega. I saw her at the hotel this morning. She was running up and down the corridor. Full of energy, as most toddlers are. So the Olympic champion, Victor Axelsson, the tall day nearest to us in the first of the men's singles semi-finals. Well, the first time these two met, it was Lee Chek Yu who was on home soil. And he's a very skillful player, as that return of serve has just demonstrated. He also has a wonderful attack. Great disguise on his shots, and he manages to create wonderful angles, but so too does Axelson. But there's a, an example of what I've just been talking about. Two, one. with that one is Axelson after the dive defence. Oh, that's wonderful. What a great smash straight down the line by Lee Chek Yu. Three, all. Trying to make a little bit of history today. No men singles player from Hong Kong, China has ever been in the final of the men's singles event at this particular tournament. Two previous semi-finalists in 2010, Hu Yun, lost out to Jano Jorgensen, who went on to win the title. And then four years ago, Wong Wing Ki lost to the eventual champion, Kidambi Shrikant. Oh, that's a super angle. Yeah, there's another 
Sue Thorandle. Well, coming into this semi-final, Victor Axelson has won 62 of his last 64 matches. And that, I think, demonstrates exactly why I believe he is the best player in the world right now. I said he had great disguise on his attacking Number play, Lee Chick Yu. That another four, lovely example. Seven. Really came out of nowhere when he won the Hong Kong Open. He'd been promoted from the qualifying draw because a player withdrew from the tournament at the last moment. That's landed in. Oh, well, Victor, Victor Axelson begs to differ. In. Yep, I thought it had landed in. Well, that's a wasted challenge. Challenge unsuccessful. Five, seven. leap from the base position in the centre of the court by Axelson. Keep the pressure on his opponent. There's another nice drop. Nice punch clear. is utterly brilliant. He appeared to be off balance, Axelson. Yeah, he was off balance and plays the perfect slice drop. Look at that. That's amazing. it wide. There is over six, nine. <laughs> I thought that could have been Seven, worth a challenge. Nine. Let's go. 
also to the mid-game interval. The Olympic champion with a four-point advantage. Det er godt, den kommer næsten hårdt hver gang på den første. Og på nummer to, der finder han på noget hele tiden. Han ligger og slår clear ind over os, fordi han vil have plads til den der dropper. Okay. Så bare lige, lige fremme stadigvæk, selvom de, du, har, du har ikke har problemer med at komme bagom den på en clear der. Men han, vil, han, han, kommer, jeg ved, han, kommer, han kommer ind med den der. Ikke? Ja. Og læg mærke til stadigvæk, når han, han har fået en ned dernede fra. Ellers så står han den vej hele tiden. Second，再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再见。再
I say you can never write anything off happening in sport. We've seen some extraordinary things happen. Points from the opening eight for the former world number one. Nineteen eight. Missed it. Game point opportunities. Only 14 minutes played. Victor Axelson's run of good form continues. First game won by Victor Axelson, 21-9. 21-9 in 15 minutes. Nietzsche, <laughs> you. Yeah. Just not reading yeah, these yeah, attacking yeah, shots at all. Så øh, så tvinger man stadig til at ligge og løfte, når han er så bange. Gør det ved at gå lige... Så jeg løfter så lidt mere højde på, så det ikke bare springer direkte ud. Ja, det er en god idé. Men, ja. men jeg tænker også, så du, så, du, så, du, så du trykker ham lidt, så han skal ligge og løfte, ikke? Ja. Fordi han, øh, han er bange. Han vil ikke at komme lidt mere aggressivt ud her. Det vil han sikkert, men han er bange for at løfte på dig, ikke? Ja. Så han vil op og have det net der. Kom på banen her. Så er det godt spillet her. Ja, det er meget, meget fint. Det er hus stadigvæk ned. Det er det med, når jeg løfter så ned i benene og klarer på den første. Ja. Og på den næste finder han på noget andet. Kommer ikke to hårde der. Kommer højst sandsynligt det holdet drop, som man gerne vil have en med, ikke? Ja, der er kun kommet hårde eller, eller de der korte, altså en halvhårde eller de der korte lige nu. Det bliver vi ved med at være klar på. Brug på. Kom så, gør vi det hårdt. God dag inden. Ikke? Ja. Victor Axelsson looked so much in control in that opening game. Now, what can Lee Chek Yu do in response? Service over. One. Love. It. 
It was a nice idea, but with a very slight drift. Sideways drift from right to left. Got taken wide. Good follow up. Oh, good return. That's very nice. has been changed and I suspect it's Three. because Victor Axelson's smashes are so powerful and so sharp that it's distorting the shuttle every time he hits a smash. Oh, well taken. Yeah, good net exchange. He played the net exceptionally well yesterday, Lee Chia Pu against Cho Tian Shen. Goodness me, uh, the indecision cost him dear. Four, three. Yeah, oh. poor indecision. Two rallies running. Just lost Five, his spatial awareness at the three. moment. the full diagonal of the court from around the head position from here Four, brings him forward five. forehand net he's slow to recover and then the opportunity to play the winner from Axelson Attacking winners he hit in the Olympic final against Chen Long was astonishing. Yeah, with slightly faster playing conditions. It smashes uh, every bit as good, if not even sharper. Just missed it. That was the challenge here from Lee Chek Yu. Chek Yu challenges called out. 
Axelsson was about to challenge until he saw that the line judge had called it out. as well. He needs to think about the sideways drift, Lee check you. Challenge here from Victor hey, Axelson. Just caught the line. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. To both over. players. Just with one Six. challenge remaining. Eight. And that had been a run of five straight points for Axelson. Extraordinary skill. Service over. Nine, seven. Yeah, he anticipated the drop shot. Sometimes he overcommits with that. Seven. But he was right on that occasion. Look, he's going forward, looking for the drop shot as soon as his opponent had turned to play the high backhand. Up. Service error. Service over. He's not Eight. hanging about, Axelson. Quick in between rallies. Much quicker than his opponent. And a three-point advantage at the mid-game interval. For the Olympic champion. three Super 1000 events in the 
2020 World Tour season, which spanned two calendar years. of the last 13 points to Victor Axelsen. 3-5 down he was. Missed it. Service over. 9-13. Addressing the shuffle so early, especially at the front of the court axis, and he's got so many options. And there, could have pushed it. Lee Check you having to hang back in case there's a push, and therefore leaving himself vulnerable to the little block to the net. Service over 14 9. Today, Lee Check, you his net play was brilliant, but he's Service been over. threatened today 16, from Axelson, 10. and therefore he's a little bit tentative on those net shots. Oh, that's just delightful. Just guiding the shuttle across court into the open 17, space. 10. Form, and he's maintained that for so long. Three points away from winning or being in a tenth no. final in his last ten tournaments. 19. Two points away. Match point opportunities. This has been a masterclass today by the Olympic champion. Fans on their feet. Oh. 
cap. Well saved. And little baby Vega is right in the front behind her father in the stand. There, there she is, waving to Daddy. How adorable. Well, I think Daddy's preoccupied at the moment. Extraordinary performance by Victor Axelson. 21-9, 21-11 in just 34 minutes. Ten finals in ten tournaments played. And a little wave to Vega. She's a bit bemused by it all. Only just turned one year of age, but she knows that's Daddy on court. And she knows that all the fans have been applauding for this man. His father, Victor's father. He takes leave of court, and what an extraordinary performance. 21-9, 21-11, and through to his first Denmark Open final. Well, semi-final all started, uh, what, ten and a quarter hours ago, just over. 